Now don't get me wrong, Batman is a badass, but when he's set to fight other actually super-powered beings, he gets his bat booty beat, I'm not gonna lie. Underneath all that wealth, he is just a human after all. Hey guys, my name is AJ Spatola with Top 10 Nerd, and these are the top 10 superheroes who humbled Batman. At number 10 is Alfred Pennysworth, who's only at number 10 because he's not technically a superhero, but that doesn't make this old man with a peg leg giving Batman an absolute beat down any less entertaining. A decorated war vet, Alfred reaches a breaking point with Bruce Wayne's despondent demeanor. Then the unthinkable happens as Alfred, with unwavering resolve, delivers a resounding slap to Batman's face. Now Bruce, challenged, resorts with a defiant don't. But Alfred remains undeterred, and in a confrontation that defies expectations, Alfred, despite his age and prosthetic leg, stands his ground. He points out Bruce's lack of experience in war, delivering impactful blows that leave Batman spewing all kinds of red bodily fluids. However, a desperate Batman resorts to a cheap shot, targeting Alfred's fake leg to gain an advantage, and putting Alfred on the floor. It's a surprising turn of events that prevents Batman from facing utter humiliation. The clash between the Dark Knight and his trusted butler reveals unexpected facets of their dynamic. At number 9 is Aquaman. Nobody leaves Batman gasping for air quite like Aquaman does. Their clash in the Legends of the DC Universe number 27 showed the relentless determination of Arthur Curry. See, despite Batman claiming victory, Aquaman's relentless slugfests of fists echoed through the pages and left an indelible mark on Batman's ego, leaving us all questioning the Dark Knight's dominance within the League. In recent encounters, Aquaman opts for a strategic shift abandoning the conventional blows for a menacing Darth Vader-style throat grip. Batman, with teeth bared and gritted, caught in Curry's grasp, is completely vulnerable to a fatal trident thrust. A twist of fate, however, as Wonder Woman intervenes, preventing Gotham's Guardian from becoming an aquatic feast for the Justice League. If you're enjoying this video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Top 10 Nerd, and ringing that notification bell. I would seriously appreciate it. It helps the channel get more views to more people, and thanks for helping us out. At number eight is the Punisher. Enter Frank Castle, a no-nonsense vigilante who's armed to the teeth. In the 1994 crossover issue, Castle tests Batman's trademark patience. Channeling Ra's al Ghul's philosophy from Batman Begins, Castle asserts that criminals thrive on society's understanding. He brings this belief crashing into Batman's world, landing punches that resonate with unparalleled force. See, the Punisher's primal fear inducing aura props Batman to step in just before he dispenses justice to the Joker with a bullet. Yeah, you heard me right. Batman, the protector of Gotham, is compelled to save the Joker from the Punisher's lethal resolve, forcing him to quite literally bite the bullet. Enter a moment of raw intensity where the Punisher nearly executes the Joker as Batman, driven by an unfamiliar fear, intervenes just in time. Batman, shielding the crown prince of crime from a hailstorm of bullets, urging the clown to quote, run. Run for your life! Seems that even the world's greatest detective can be unnerved, and in this clash of ideologies, even the Bat bows to the uncompromising Punisher. At number 7 is Superman. Batman has faced numerous foes, but none seem to humble the Dark Knight quite like Superman does. Now, despite Batman's meticulous planning and strategic brilliance, the Man of Steel consistently thwarts his best laid schemes and emerges victorious time and time again. Now, while it's clear that Batman was about to have the last laugh in the movie, in the comic books, it's typically Superman who delivers the final blow. For example, in The Dark Knight Returns, Batman is decimated body and soul by Superman's overwhelming power, where Superman crushes Batman physically and spiritually. Superman Batman number two exposes just what happens when the Dark Knight's meticulous planning and strategy ultimately backfires, nearly costing him his life. Even armed to the teeth with Kryptonite in Lex Luthor, Man of Steel, Batman still faces defeat. Superman's sacrifice witnessed Batman's complete manhandling, albeit under Superman's mind control. Now, while circumstances may vary, the pattern still holds. When true to their characters, Superman prevails, leaving Batman's plans in shambles. Clash of these iconic heroes often leans in favor of the last son of Krypton, 
unfortunately for Batman. At number six is the Hulk. Oh boy, this one's gonna be brutal. In the 1996 crossover, Batman faced a behemoth green Goliath, and the odds were about as lopsided as a seesaw with an elephant on one end. The Hulk, a powerhouse of rage and raw strength, had Batman teetering on the brink of defeat. Yet, to everyone's surprise, the Dark Knight actually displayed an uncanny resilience. Dodging airborne cars and defying the laws of physics of precarious situations, Batman showcased a level of agility that defied his moral origins. The Joker, usually reveling in chaos, momentarily doubted Batman's survival, urging the Hulk to crush him into a paste. It was a moment of uncertainty that hung in the air like the impending collision of titans. But in a twist of fate, Batman unleashed a surprising tactic, boxing the Hulk's ears and actually disorienting the colossal adversary, which is quite surprising. The tables turned momentarily, but the Hulk's recovery was swift and furious. Batman physically outmatched found himself pinned against the wall by a massive machinery hurled by the green giant. Now, in the end, intellect did prevail over brawn, but not without leaving Batman physically battered by the sheer force of his much larger Marvel foe. At number five is Jason Todd. Batman's legacy is impeccable, but even the Dark Knight has faced some moments of vulnerability. Take Jason Todd, once Robin, who endured a brutally fatal encounter at the hands of the Joker's crow bar and rigged explosives, challenging Batman's ability to protect his own. Now, in the aftermath, Batman was haunted by guilt, and he preserved Todd's empty costume in the Batcave. But upon Todd's resurrection, he sought revenge, mirroring Batman's methods with a touch of fatal brutality, aiming to bring down both the Joker and Batman in one foul and vengeful swoop. Through meticulous planning, Todd bested Batman, momentarily seizing control. The apprentice turned adversary he orchestrated a plan that brought Batman to his knees, bringing the Cape Crusader face to face with the end of a loaded barrel, aimed squarely between Bruce's eyes. Now, ultimately, while Todd did win the showdown, his pride ultimately cost him the mission with Batman coming out on top. Nevertheless, this battle is a compelling twist showcasing that even the mighty Batman can be outsmarted by his own protege. In the intricate dance of heroism and vendetta, the line blurs and the student can become the master of humbling the indomitable. At number four is Wonder Woman. In the realm of caped crusaders, Batman stands as the icon of justice, but what happens when the tables turn? Wonder Woman, with her Amazonian might and unyielding sense of duty, humbles the Dark Knight in Wonder Woman the Hikatia. Bound by a sacred Themyscira ritual, Diana becomes the guardian of a remorseful unaliver, Danielle Wellis. Batman, the ever enforcer of Gotham's law, clashes with Wonder Wonder Woman over justice and morality. The battle that unfolds between them isn't just physical, but also symbolic. Wonder Woman, invoking the ancient ties that bind her, rejects Batman's demand to hand over Danielle. The clash becomes a collision of principles, moral justice versus the eternal vows. The narrative adds layers to Wonder Woman's mythology, showcasing her physical prowess over the formidable Batman. In the end, it's not just rain-soaked streets, but the power dynamics that leave Batman beneath Wonder Woman's literal and metaphorical heel. At number three is Green Lantern. In the vast world of superhero showdowns, few moments stand out as much as the time Batman faced off against Hal Jordan. It wasn't a battle of gadgets or cunning strategy either. It was just a straightforward, old-fashioned, punch to the face. Picture this, Batman typically in control, caught off guard by a sudden, unrelenting right hook from the Emerald Warrior. It wasn't about complex plans or intricate maneuvers or even magic in this case. It was raw power meeting unexpected vulnerability. This story showcased Hal Jordan's strength, not just in constructs and willpower, but in a simple well-timed punch that left the Cape Crusader on the ground. Batman's aura of invincibility was shattered at that moment, a humble experience for a hero used to being one step ahead. Hal Jordan's unexpected uppercut spoke volumes about the potency of human connection, even in the midst of cosmic powers. At number two is Swamp Thing. In the vast tapestry of the DC Universe, the clash between Swamp Thing and Batman stands out as a peculiar chapter. You see, picture this. Gotham is typically a concrete jungle, but it was transformed into a leafy labyrinth by Swamp Thing's botanical prowess. Why? 
well, it's a classic tale of love, justice, and the unexpected consequences of interspecies romance. Swamp Thing's wife, Abby, faced legal trouble for her amorous escapades with the Tree Man. The trial brought the Swamp Thing to Gotham, and Batman found himself ensnared in a verdant vendetta. Swamp Thing and his green allies delivered a beating that left Batman battered, but still breathing. Their motive was to ensure Abby's safety and make a point that Gotham's conventional weapons were useless against the forces of nature. In this arboreal encounter, Batman learned that even in his own urban fortress, nature could still turn the tables. And number one is Catwoman. This is the very reason why you never want to cheat on a crazy cat lady. Even if your name is Batman, now allow me to set the scene. Batman 355, it's 1983, and Gotham's alleyways witness the aftermath of a love gone sour. See, Selina Kyle, the infamous Catwoman, discovers Batman's new flame, Vicky Vale, and what follows is a visceral confrontation, a snapshot of heartbreak and vengeance. In a frenzy of emotion, Catwoman launches into a ferocious assault, culminating in a super-powered knee to Batman's jaw. The Dark Knight, typically composed, finds himself sprawled out on the floor and disoriented. Catwoman, momentarily unhinged, contemplates the line between lover and adversary, and as she hovers over the edge of tragedy, sanity prevails, sparing Batman from a lethal fate. But don't get it twisted, Catwoman, momentarily blinded by rage, contemplated a fatal finale. Bruce, she says, I almost unalived you. I can't say the word, but you know what I mean. I was that close, she confessed. This was a breakup with a lethal twist, a snapshot of passion turned pearlious. Batman, ever resilient, quipped about his robust jaw, the sole defense against Catwoman's momentary madness. If there's a superhero who's humbled Batman that you think I've missed, there's lots, trust me. Feel free to let me know down in the comments, and maybe your suggestion will be included in a part two, if we get lucky. This has been AJ with Top 10 Nerd, and I'll catch you all in another video. Later, nerds!